Would you say that the corona crisis has even um, revealed more the need to have a digital uh, central bank currency or currencies? Well, yes, I think I think corona, the corona crisis uh, has accelerated very much technical change uh, and, and use of, of digital uh, innovations across the board. I mean, it's not only in financial transactions, but in e-commerce and uh, show yeah. business. I mean, you, you, there are so many examples that you know, but yes, it, it is a factor. Um, when we talk about central banking, uh, central bank digital currencies, would it not make sense just to have one worldwide? I know it's a bit of a, a weird question, but what do you think? No, no, I mean, I, I think that each central bank, each country should have its own sovereign currency. Uh, what is important, and I think a lot of the work that we are doing, uh, is given that pretty much all central banks are thinking about this, it's a unique opportunity for the different central bank, central banks' digital currencies to be uh, interoperable, that uh, they, 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 their systems are congruent between each other, and therefore that transactions in different currencies can, do, can be done in a seamless way. As a matter of fact, today we published a report, uh, the CPMI JOSCO report on, the, on, on, on CBDC, uh, and, uh, and, and international payments. And there the idea is precisely what is the, the design features that CBDCs should have so that you can make 24-7 instant payments between countries with very low commissions. I mean, today a uh, payment from, let's say, Mexico <laughs> to the U.S. can take uh, days and sometimes the commissions you pay is 7%. That's ridiculous. So what I think we need to do is to take advantage of the fact that pretty much everybody is starting from a clean slate so that we can incorporate from the origin uh, the interconnectedness uh, between the different systems.